Let's talk about how to get more eyes on your Teachers Pay Teachers resources, your TPT products. I'm so excited about this. It's been a little while since I've had an episode where it's just me talking, sharing, and um, I really enjoy these episodes, but I'm going to ask you to bear with me a little bit today because this is probably going to be mostly unedited. So you might notice a few more ums today, maybe a few more pauses, but I'm really excited to talk about this because I get a lot of questions about how to get more eyes on your resources. And I recently, you guys, I recently started a brand new TPT store in a highly competitive niche. So for those of you who've been around for a while, you know that I've been in the secondary math niche, the secondary math world for quite a while. And now I have moved into pre-K, which is like probably the most saturated market that there is on TPT. And I'm really interested to see how this goes. I'm on about week three, three and a half, maybe four weeks in at this point. Um, I think I posted my first resource two weeks ago. So if you want to learn more about that, I'll be talking about that a little bit more at the end of the episode. But let's talk about how to get more eyes on your resources because I'm coming at this with a fresh store um, in a brand new niche. And I know if you are newer to TPT and you're not like me, I've been on TPT since 2016 then getting some views on your product might feel a little bit impossible. It might feel like something that's going to be really difficult to do um, unless you have a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy to throw at it and you just do everything. It might feel like it's just going to be years before you even make a sale or before your resources start to really sell. So in this episode, we're going to be talking specifically specific strategies that you can use to help get more eyes on your products. But at the end of this episode, you wanna make sure and stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you how you can access a free workshop that's gonna talk specifically about SEO and using keyword research, optimizing your resources, optimizing your product listings um, for with SEO and keyword research to get more eyes on your products from TPT Search, okay? Um, so let's talk about getting more views on your resources. The first thing that I wanna say, especially coming from moving into this brand new niche, um, it's really important to have more resources. So if you just have, like me, I just listed product number two last night, paid product number two last night. So if you only have a handful of resources in your store, if you have 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 resources in your store, 50 is still not a lot but it's getting there, right? If you only have a handful of resources in your store, the first thing that you need to know about getting more views on your product is that you need more products in order to do that. Um, So a lot of times people will kind of hop around your store. They'll find one resource that they really like, they'll go check out your store, or they'll click on a related products link down at the bottom of your product description, which by the way, if you don't have that, there's a really great tool from Bearwood Labs. I'll link to that down inside of the description that you can use to um, link to other related resources in your store very easily. That's how a lot of people are finding resources in your store. So the one resource that they find in TPT search, they may see it and it may be enough to get them to click on that product, but that might not be the product that they ultimately purchase from you. So having more related resources inside of your store, having more options for them to purchase, not only does it give them more opportunities to add more resources to their cart, it incentivizes them to follow your store and hopefully make purchases from you later on. It puts your new resources, if they followed your store, puts new resources in front of their eyeballs whenever they log into TPT or they get one of those um, new resource emails. Um, So you get more opportunities to get your product seen when you have more products, right? Not only is it more products for them to find in search, but they have more opportunities to click those links to related resources, go to your store, find more resources that they're going to love. And it just provides more opportunities and it kind of compounds over time as you continue to add new resources to your store, okay? The next thing is you wanna be able to drive your own traffic. (laughs) You need to have a way to drive your own traffic, especially if you're in a really competitive niche. Now, I know that for a lot of us, the thought process is, well, let me just enter into a niche that's not as competitive. Why don't I just do that? 
but that's not always going to be ideal. It's not always our, always our area of expertise, and it's not always the type of resources that we want to create or the type of resources that we're passionate about. So keeping that in mind that it's not always about just like niching down, niching down, niching down, you can still have a broader niche or move into a more saturated market. You just have to have a plan and know going into it that it's going to be harder to get eyes on your resources organically through TPT search because the competition is a lot stiffer, okay? When that competition is a lot stiffer too, when we're talking about driving your own traffic, it, that also plays a role, right? So if I search for free Algebra 1 worksheets, I'm gonna come across things. I'm gonna come across resources, but I'm not gonna have the plethora of free resources to choose from like I am in a more saturated niche, like pre-K, kindergarten, first, second, things like that, right? So keeping in that in mind when you're driving your own traffic, if you're in a more saturated market, it's going to take some consistency. And that's number three, be consistent. It's going to take that consistency. It's going to take that showing up time and time again with consistent, valuable information for your audience in order to really build that no like, and trust factor when there's a lot more noise in that space because it's more saturated. So you also want to keep that in mind. Be consistent. Consistently put out those new resources consistently market to your audience wherever that is and consistently show up with valuable information and ideas so that you can build that know, like, and trust factor with your audience so that they will in turn purchase from you, okay? The next thing that you really wanna think about is using bundles. So create with these bundles in mind, okay? Think about creating resources that are very consistent right? You don't want to try to, if you come out straight out of the gate, especially if you're in a more saturated niche and you're trying to create a little of this, a little of that, and your resources are kind of all over the place, you have to realize that because your market is so saturated, that it's going to be a long game. You might have to create 10 resources to get the same amount of traction that two resources might bring you in another niche. So with that in mind, you want to make sure that you're creating product lines keep the product creation process as seamless as you possibly can. So right now I mentioned earlier that I've moved into a brand new niche and I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the podcast. But one of the things that I'm doing is I'm making sure that my product creation process is as seamless as possible. So I'm starting off with two different types of resources because I don't want to um, only make one resource type and it not be the thing that my audience is drawn to. Um, so I'm creating two different kinds of resources I'm making that process very seamless and I'm making it so that I can bundle these items together. So think about it like this, say you have an activity and you have notes, right? So maybe you create a line of notes and you create a line of activities and you make it so that these resources go together like PB and J. If I have a set of Pythagorean theorem notes that I have a Pythagorean theorem activity that's going to go perfectly and seamlessly with that set of notes so I can do little mini bundles. So I can do notes activity, I can do a bundle of all the notes, and I can do a bundle of all the activities. And the product creation process is very, very seamless. I really just have one cover and one preview template for each line of those resources. And I'm not having to start over reinventing the wheel, but I'm still able to put out as many products as possible to hit that having more resources to get more views um, to hit that and to really meet that goal to meet those product creation goals and to do it in a way that's going to be efficient. All right, so let's talk about this because the next thing is SEO. We really need, you cannot, I'm not gonna say you can't be successful on TPT. Let me back that up. You can sell your products on TPT, but you're gonna have to work a lot harder to sell them if you're having to do all of the traffic driving for those resources or to get those products sold. If getting a product sold means that you have got to find the people and send them there to buy your product, it's gonna be a lot harder of a journey than if you're getting at least some of your sales, if not most of your sales, organically found through TPT search and you are not having to find your buyers, okay? Your buyers are coming to you. That's what you really want. And the way that you're gonna be able to do that is gonna be through search engine optimization, optimizing your resources to get them found through TPT search. 
And with that comes knowing what keywords to use. I think in general, when we talk about like SEO and search engine optimizing our resources, we get the formula part of it, right? We get, okay, I put my keywords here and I put them here and then I repeat them um, throughout the product description. And I have to like check these boxes and make sure that I've done these things in order for my resource to be search engine optimized. But the piece of that that we can't, we don't have a formula for is keyword research and knowing which specific keywords to use how to use them, where to place them, how to make everything sound natural, and how to get those resources found, and how to choose the correct keywords for your specific product that are gonna get you found based on how many resources you've sold, based on how many reviews you have for that product, et cetera, right? It's a lot of moving pieces and it's a lot to think about, and this is where a lot of people really get confused. But I'm gonna tell you something, it doesn't have to be that complicated, okay? I've got a free workshop for this, so if you wanna learn how to conduct keyword research, how to use those keywords effectively within your product, how to choose keywords for your specific products and how to use them effectively within your title and product description to help your resources rank on TPT. Then I've got a free workshop for you. It's gonna be a week from today. It's gonna to be Sunday, May 26th at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's called Rank My Resources. It's absolutely free. This is a workshop that I did inside of um, my membership two months ago, and we had a member just post at the end of April showing how much she was up over last year, how much how much more money she had made, and said that seven hundred dollars of that increase, seven hundred dollars of that growth that she had seen, had come from changes that she had made to her keywords in the previous challenge inside of RTA. And so, if you want to learn what I taught them then you wanna to come to this free workshop, Rank My Resources. Come join us for this. You'll find a link to join us down inside the description. You don't have to be there live. There is a replay, but it's only going to be, the replay is only gonna be available through June 1st. So you wanna make sure that you are signed up. You are on the wait list so that you can come live or you can get the link to the replay if you can't attend live. So you really wanna make sure that you are coming to that. Okay, last thing you heard me talk about um, this new store that I've started. So I haven't just started a new store. I've also started a new private podcast about this journey with this new store. Talk, docu it documents why I started the store, why I was interested in it, um, why I entered such a saturated market. It talks about the things that I'm doing, the pivots that I'm making along the way. And I want to take you along for the ride. Um, the first two episodes are out right now. And we have a couple more episodes coming out within the next week. And if you want to have access to this podcast, this is a private podcast, you'll be able to find a link to join that content. You'll be able to find a link to access that content down inside the description through a very, very low month. For a very, very low monthly cost, you can get access to that private podcast. And here, where I'm actually going to be sharing some numbers, like numbers on my email list, how my email list is doing, how much money I made from that email list, how much money I've made in general. Um, so you kind of be able to follow me along as I navigate um, entering this very saturated niche. If you're an RTA member though, it's free. So if you're an RTA member, you can find the content for free inside of RTA. So don't pay for it if you're in Rebranded Teacher Academy. Um, but if you aren't in Rebranded Teacher Academy, you can find a link to join that inside of the description so that you don't miss out on that premium, co premium content. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Make sure and join us for this upcoming workshop. And then if you want to learn more about the private podcast, you can find links to that down inside of the description as well. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys right back here um, on Wednesday. We've got an extra special episode this coming week. We've got a twofer. So I'll see you guys right back here on Wednesday. Bye.